What's up guys, it's your boy King J coming at you with another commentary today and guess what? I have another special guest today, my homie Creeper24. It's been a long time. What's up, bruh? Hey man, what's up? What's going on everybody? What's up, beautiful audience of my bro King J? What's going on, bro? Nothing much, man. Just trying to put everything together like a puzzle, trying to get everything to fit in the right places in life. And it takes a while to get everything good, but I'm going to get there. You feel me? Yeah, man. Keep going at it. Keep going at it, bro. Keep on swimming. Keep on swimming, bro. Hell yeah. So what we going to talk about today, Creeper? Man, you made a video about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And you say, um, we are never satisfied. And actually, that video triggered a comment that, you know, it, it, it fit me. So I didn't want to leave it on the comment section. So I said, hmm, I think I want to do this. Uh, with my bro, this commentary with my bro, King J, because it's your video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, man. So, we are never satisfied part two. And it's like everybody, we are never going to be satisfied. It's always going to mo be more things that we want in life. And I think that's okay. But to a certain extent, what do you think about it? Man, we are never satisfied. We like everybody we are all different we live different worlds and our head is different like we think differently in my opinion when it comes to, to technology as an example you know i got the ps4 and then i wasn't satisfied with the ps4 and i wanted the the xbox one so i got it for my birthday because i wanted to play titanfall and you know now that i I got these two here, there's no excitement going on, so I decided to jump on into building a computer and, you know, I'm never satisfied when it comes to technology and I don't think anybody ever is, but there's a lot of things that we're never satisfied, like I'm not satisfied with my check, I want more, more money on that check, you know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying, Creeper. Making videos, you know, I'm not satisfied sometimes with my content. So I, I take a little break from YouTube, I take like a week or two weeks, I'm not, I'm not trying to rush some garbage ass on YouTube, I take my time doing my videos and, you know, I'm, I'm never satisfied with my quality and, 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 and so I try to make it better every time. We are never satisfied and yeah, you're right bro, we are never because we are humans and that is what humanity does. If we go back in time like the old days back when... You know, the castles and the kings and the queens and all those years ago, like many, many years ago. You know the, you know how the kingdoms wanted to take over more land and the kingdom was never satisfied. The king, he wanted more gold and more power. I, I think that comes from the beginning of humanity. What do you think? Yeah, it really does too because if you were religious, you even know that the devil was actually an angel and he was not satisfied because God was getting more attention than him. And another thing, when you talked about us getting checks and we're working hard as hell and we're sweating and we're just cooking food and we're making sure that it's out at a certain time. When I was at McDonald's, I was not satisfied with that little paycheck a week and living paycheck to paycheck because I'm thinking that Man, I got this thing done now. I need to wait next week to get this other thing done. You should be able to make an honest living, but it's still like we're slaves to the dollar, right? Man, that is how the government wants us to live, <laughs> pretty much, dude. We are never satisfied. We are never satisfied, King J. And you know what? That is a beautiful thing. I really don't think that is bad because, I mean, well, like you said, to a certain extent, everything... You know, if we exaggerate everything, everything is bad on ex um, how do you say that excess? Um, yeah. The thing another thing is like sometimes we actually get what we want and then when we get it, we want something else. Like that's something that's always going to happen to us guys. We're going to get everything that we want and then we're going to still feel like we need <laughs> something else. Yeah. But the thing is you have to try to basically be happy with what you got. And if it is something that you want more, you have to keep working to get it. Like I said on the last video. Yeah, you are right, bro. You are right. We got to keep working at it. And and we just got to keep on going. Going for what we want in life. And you are right, bro. We are never satisfied. But it becomes a problem when you are married or you are dating somebody. And that 
that thing your girlfriend doesn't satisfy you anymore what happens on that king jay well when it comes to these girls to be honest like some of these girls like to play games a whole lot and i'm not a person that does that like i grew up very early in my life i hung around people that was older so i just want one that is going to be on the same page as me and we don't have to deal with all the bullshit but even when i'm saying that it's always going to happen it, it is bro it is because as humanity and to end this commentary we're humans and we tend to never be happy with what we got we i mean well not not all the time but most of the time we always want more we are never satisfied Dude, this is a great topic. There's many thousands of things to talk about these. It's another thing that I want to address too, though. When it comes to this YouTube thing, I put a lot of time and the effort into it, and I do feel like I should get more views or more likes. And I don't want to complain and be like some other people here on YouTube that I've talked about in past commentaries, but it's kind of the truth. When you're putting out some good content, why are you not getting noticed but the other people that's not talking about shit is getting noticed yeah you're right bro there's some people out there with bigger channels bigger you know bigger youtubers and sometimes they upload this garbage ass shit on youtube and i'm like what the hell what the fuck and then i see you know youtubers like you that's how i feel too i see myself you know sometimes i put up to 10 hours on a video dude and sometimes i don't even get the 100 views and i'm not satisfied about that and i don't know dude sometimes i fall out of the youtube grind and also i'm not trying to complain or bitch but the reality is the fact is the fact and it won't it won't change you know what i'm saying so i'm not satisfied about that either bro and another thing before i end this commentary some of you guys y'all probably wondering why i have not commented on your videos or something like that google is on some bullshit Okay, it won't let me comment no more. I only can comment back to people that comment on my video. Man, that's bullshit. I think you're bullcrapping me. Bullshit. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I believe you, bro, because bullshit. <laughs> some of my other uh, subscribers, they private message me and they're like, I can't comment on your shit. And I'm like, why? They're like, it's some Google shit. So I know you're telling the truth, bro. And I think Google and YouTube should fix it, fix it up. Bullshit. Alright, I hope all you guys enjoyed what me and Creeper had today and man, more videos to come from me and Creeper because we always get together and make a good commentary. That's right. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. As always, deuce. Thank you, bro, for having me here. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it too, man.